Coming from the Big Purple Couch, my name is Ashley Papadamu, and joining me here is Graham and Josh from Tokyo. Oh, not gonna lie, Tokyo is not like the easiest word to say. Why, guys? Why couldn't you be like the Alberta Police Club or like? Alberta yeah, Police Club. totally yeah. kidding. How do you guys feel about tonight's show? Good. I feel good. We just finished having a sound check, and it was a good sound check. So I feel good about what's to come. Okay, so you guys have done some pretty big music festivals. You know, Bonnaroo, Coachella. Have you done anything comparable, like, you know, in Canadian music festivals? Um, what have we done? We've, yeah, Oshiaga, and we did Squamish. I don't know if that's the name of the festival, but a festival in Squamish. Live at Squamish. Live at Squamish. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're both awesome. Oshiaga is obviously the big one, and it's that's a sweet festival. You get a chance to go to it. Do you have any future plans for any of these festivals in the next year or so, you know? Yeah, it's all kind of gearing up right now. They book really far in advance, so some of them we kind of missed this go around. We'll have to get to them next summer, but we'll try and do some this summer. It's all kind of getting like, hammered out via email right now, so stay tuned. I guess. Big plans, big plans. Stay tuned, though. They'll, uh, they'll definitely let you know where you can find them. Now, as a Canadian band, what struggles do you face with an international audience? Um, it, it, honestly, the biggest struggle is there's just like a lot of logistical hurdles insofar as moving yourself and your possessions across the border all the time. Because it turns out when you're in a band, you're in this really, this is like, this is like the non-exciting nitty gritty stuff that's actually what being in a band is like, where you realize like, oh, we have enough dollar value worth of gear in our van to qualify as a commercial thing so you have to go into the country the same way like an 18 wheeler full of t-shirts goes into america so you have all these documents you have to learn how to like fill out documents and which borders to go to and which back doors you go in and like that's that's the kind of stuff that's a serious challenge then after that you just got to go play shows and once you're there you're you're there and it's fine but it's really hard to get there it's expensive so it's a lot of bands don't bother so I'm assuming that you guys never let your passports expire. It has happened, and there's been scrambling last minute, but yes, we, we try not to. This is word to the wise. You, they will renew your passport in 24 hours if you are desperate enough and willing to spend the money on it. They will absolutely turn that around for you. Okay, but not everyone is part of Tokyo Police Club. Good thing, too. We can split all the money that many ways. you got to give them the eyes. Just give them the sad, I need my passport eyes. Some tips for uh, students going on trips on Reading Week. Um, okay, so I'm sure you probably get this a lot. The Strokes. Your music can be compared to their sound. Have they ever influenced any of your music? Definitely. I mean, when we started out, The Strokes were just coming onto the scene. The whole rock and roll revival was happening. Uh, they were a huge influence in us at, at that age when you're just getting turned on to your own kind of music and finding your own bands. And that was the band that we sort of all had that one in common and uh, definitely I mean we don't we don't try to hide it and if we do we're doing a terrible job yeah the strokes came out like that whole scene of like rock music is coming back came it was like, this really exciting you know vital time in music and it happened right as we were turning 13 14 years old which is obviously a really exciting vital time in your life so everything perfectly aligned the fact it was like you know, now we're getting our driver's licenses and like we, we can do stuff and we're in high school and we can get in trouble and be idiots. And here's this perfect soundtrack to that that just like locked right in. It was this, the exact right thing at the right time. And once something like that happens, it just ties into your life in a way that you can never get rid of. Okay, so when I was 13, it was the year 2006. So that is the year that your first album came out. So that, that's what happened when I was 13. Yeah, so how has your music changed from then compared to now? I mean, uh, probably in a lot of ways. It's hard. We're like the worst people to ask that question to, and I know there's no one else to ask, but um, it's... I think there's still, like, there's something in it that's still the same. Whatever, whatever it is, the way it filters through us, whatever comes out of our brains and our souls or whatever is as consistent as that's ever gonna be, but what we are into changes and evolves and what, because all you ever do, I guess the process is always just what's exciting. You really just massage a song until you like it the most you can possibly like it. It's just that what you like changes. So yeah, what we what we did in 2006 was we worked on the song, we're like, this is perfect, this is, it's, we love it. And then it was Nature of the Experiment, and in 2013 we did the same thing, except it was Hot Tonight. And so that's just a product of how you change as a person and as a musician and as a music lover and it's kind of hard to put a finger on it. I, I don't want to use like too many adjectives about how it's different, but it's really just a matter of what turns us on has changed. I think uh, 
a, a common thread through everything has just been there's a sense of directness. We've always been really fond of just getting to the point and not having anything in there that doesn't need to be. So back in the day, that was, you know, one chorus and that's it. We're only going to have one chorus and two verses and that's all. That's what it needs to be to be direct. And now I think we're, we're comfortable enough and we're... Uh, we're just comfortable with making choruses and having three of them because we still feel like that directness is still there and that it's still getting the point across, albeit in three and a half minutes instead of under two. Okay, well, since then and now, I can't wait to see you guys have in the future. Uh, but thanks so much for joining me and good luck with tonight's show. Thanks My name is Ashley Papadamu and you're watching The Big Purple Couch. <laughs>